we have an extraordinary spending power as people with disabilities because why should I have to justify how I spend my money? Why should you any more than anybody else? The reward is always worth the hard work. Hello everybody, George Fielding here. I am a wheelchair user, as you all can all can see, but I'm but I'm, but I'm also the a co-founder of Amethyst Care and Support Group. So I have the great pleasure of, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, trying to help uh, people like ourselves. Uh, young adults with disabilities live more independently, which is why it is fantastic to be talking to you about managing money. Um, the first caveat is that I'm not going to sing like Samantha Rank. I don't particularly believe that I am fluent in how I manage my money, although I'm a particular expert in managing money, it is difficult for everybody. And that is, I think, the first thing that we've got to learn here is that there isn't anybody who I think is confident in how they manage their money um, or isn't at first scared um, by talk of money. We don't often talk about these things and these matters, financial matters, in ways that people understand. So it is okay to have questions, to have worries, to be concerned about how you manage your money. That's fine. Relax. You're certainly not alone. And it isn't your fault. If you've got to this point in your life, however old you are, and you don't man and you don't know how, or you don't feel as if you manage your money properly. We need to realise that it is society's problem. Because I don't think anybody realises we have an extraordinary spending power <laughs> as people with disabilities and our networks, our families, parents and carers. The purple pound is worth £212 billion pounds a year. That's a lot of money that can make a lot of difference if put into the right hands. It can, fit, it can fuel jobs, it can feed and it can put food on the table. Your money, my money is worth something. It is worth a lot more than people will have you think sometimes because society isn't accessible and the right people aren't necessarily always around the table, which is why a project like this is so important. Because we need to understand that our money is ours to earn and spend as we wish. And we need to embrace, embrace the freedom and the control that comes from having, earning and prioritising how you spend your money. I also think it is absolutely unnecessary to carry cash. We live in 2021. The world's not perfect. But there is no need for cash anymore. There is no need for, to, for you to do it exactly what I did when I was 10, 12, 15. I used to just hand the shopkeeper the, all the money I had in my pocket and say to him or her, give me the change. Because I didn't know the difference between a five pence piece and a 50 pence piece or a pound or a two pound coin. I didn't visually have the, as you can see, I have glasses, my vision's not great. I didn't understand 
really visually or otherwise what the difference was and which coin was which. No one talked me through that. So until I hit my mid-teens, I used to just hand my money over and pray that most people would be honest and truthful about, um, you know, how much that thing I was buying was worth. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore. Um, you can, every transaction I do is on my phone, is on, is through uh, technology. Uh, it makes it far quicker, far easier, far more convenient. It's not to say it is a rush at all, but, but these things aren't worth worrying about. Uh, and technology makes it a lot easier for you to be in control of that transaction. And you don't need uh, somebody else involved all the time. I also ideologically find it easier now because of the technology, uh, because I can just go up to a shopkeeper or go on Amazon and, and uh, through all through my phone and pay for what I want. I pay for what I want. Uh, what, I, what I earn and what I spend my money on, it's worth the value that I place upon it. Uh, whether that be a bottle of wine or uh, a concert ticket, I don't really ever have to justify um, how I spent my money to a PA, to one of my support workers, because not only do I, you know, run a care company, but I receive care myself every morning. So one of my support workers, one of, I, one of my family, I don't have to verbalize or justify how I spend my money anymore because it's just one tap and go. And I like that. Because why should I have to justify how I spend my money? How, how, why should you any more than anybody else? All the serious stuff, all the bills, all the council tax, all the, my rent is all set through a direct debit. On the same day every month, that direct debit goes out uh, I set that through online, so the rest of the, my money can be spent on luxuries and what I want to spend my money on. Uh, there's a freedom there, there's a liberation there, and I like the fact I don't have to justify how I spend my money to other people, because my life is will be spent how I wished to live it. That is another lesson, I feel. It's another lesson, another tip. How you choose to spend your money, as I have said, is your choice. We need to talk about this conversation in a much more positive light than we ever do before. It is not about who has the most money. It's not about comparing yourself to an influencer or to the people in the media. And, and it is about reclaiming your own money so that you can create your own identity. And that we also need to, in my opinion, realise that if we're not careful, it's quite an ableist narrative. It disadvantages people like you and me if we talk about tightening our belts, saving for a rainy day. I've always found it better to live in the present. I'm speaking to you in October 2021. We've gone through a pandemic. It's been dreadful for a lot of people, for millions of people. It's disadvantaged 
you and me. Uh, if we can't spend our money now as we wish, then why should we have to wait? Uh, and that's a question, a good question, always worth asking yourself. I don't think it's your fault that not all banks are accessible. Not all of them have kind of desks at the right level. All of them are up steps most of the time and they're closing at a rate of knots. You know, it is not your fault that sometimes we're excluded from this conversation. And these things are ideologically connected because if you're not able to speak for yourself and don't have the confidence to say, this is what I want to spend my money on. The difficulty is that people might not always understand the things that are of value to you. And I do think that struggling and always thinking that you need to be supported by somebody and waiting for the approval of somebody in how you spend your money and what you do um, doesn't always help. Uh, live in the present. See money as something that you can divide up and prioritise however you wish. Embrace the moment. Spend money on what makes you happy. On what makes your family happy. Realise that sharing is as much, is as important as a share. It's not how big your share is, it is how much you can share. Actions have more value perhaps than material objects. Uh, and uh, I think that if you're happy and you know what you want to spend your money on and you're able to make that decision for yourself, you're in a good place, a very good place. And that's the most important thing. I think this conversation is always going to be confusing or scary. I know that £50 is worth two concert tickets. It's also worth 50 pints of milk. You know, I've learnt these things over time by going out there in society. And, you know, money's not just some abstract figure on a page. And it's not all that matters, all that counts. But it is sometimes the metaphorical cherry on the cake, the thing that makes you smart, the thing that makes life worth living. If you're able to get that one thing, to get that one thing that you've been wanting. Uh, and that one thing, make getting that one thing, however big or small, makes learning about how money and it makes budgeting and it makes all of these conversations worth it. Yeah. The reward is always worth the hard work. But take your time. Don't panic. And have people that you trust around you. Have people that you trust around you. Because no question is a stupid question when it comes to money. Understand that your voice 
and your experience and your development with regards to the, your management of money is worthy of anybody's time, whether they be your friend, your parent, your employer, your bank. You and your money are worth something. And once you realise that, each day becomes more exciting, becomes more liberating and easier because you don't have to justify yourself to anybody or anything.